What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John plays here with some great tips and tricks on weather SOS battles. There are nine Pokemon in the game that are solely obtainable through weather SOS battles. If you're not familiar with an SOS battle, check out this video of mine that explains SOS battles while catching one of the hardest Pokemon to encounter in the wild, Salamence. The Pokemon which are exclusive to Weather SOS are Cast Form, Gumi, and Slagoon, Vanillite, Vanillish, Polyrath, Politoed, and Poliwhirl, and Gabite. I'm going to remove Poliwhirl and Polyrath from this list. As you'll find Poliwag's level 20 to 25 in Mally Garden, and he evolves at 25 to Poliwhirl, and then Polyrath with the Water Stone. Not that high of a level, and not that hard of an item to obtain. Politoed, on the other hand, requires trading and a King's Rock. The King's Rock is obtainable post-game by visiting the principal of the trainer school, but you'll probably want to save that for Slowking since we can catch a Politoed. I'm also going to consolidate the Ice Cream Cones and Gooey Dragon Slugs. We're going to go in order of obtainability, and most of them are on the third island. And for this video, I'm going to do a Gold DS, because the power of special effects and post-editing. Ooh. For a Politoed, you're going to need to be in Mally Garden, and it has to be raining. But Austin John, I've zoned in out of the place like 200 million billion gazillion times and it never rains. Don't worry, baby chicks. I'm a feed ya. For SOS weather battles, you don't have to have weather conditions in the overworld. You can initiate them in battle. You can grab the Rain Dance TM along with all the other weather ones from the Royal Avenue Pokemon. And you can grab all the weather rocks from Mally City in the community center from the Ace Trainer here. You could also use Pokemon with abilities that initiate weather, like Pelipper, who has Drizzle, obtainable in Tapu Village. So teach the TM to your Pokemon, equip your items, and get into battle. For Poliwrath, it has to be day, and Politoed, it has to be night. All of the rules of regular SOS battles apply here, with the added rule that it must be raining when the Pokemon calls for help. This can be a little bit of a pain since the weather cycle ends before the call phase of each turn. Also, Rain Dance only has 5 PP, so I recommend teaching it to several of your Pokemon and bring some Lumpet Berries. I also chose to chain a Poliwag since I know that it knows Rain Dance itself, but I don't think it really helped in my chain because I don't think it really had a chance to call for Rain Dance. Also, the slight chance of a shiny Poliwag. Sploosh. Weather SOS can get you the same Pokemon, Poliwhirls, and Cast Forms, and then of course, the Politoed that we're looking for. So for me, it was about 20 minutes before I got one to show up. Also to note that Cast Form is actually obtainable in all of the locations that I'm going to mention during this video, including here. For Gabite, you're going to need to make your way to Hyena Desert. The weather here is either Sandstorm or Bright Sun, but more times than not, it's a Sandstorm, so you don't need to worry too much. You could also get the safety goggles from the hiker nearby to help with the weather damage. You could again chain any Pokemon here, but I found it to be a real pain with Sandile as he knows Embargo, Swagger, and Dig, and the Doug Trios kept killing each other. So I went with Trap Inch, which only spawns in the rustling sand and only 10% of the time. I know, I picked the easy fights, right? Four Trap Inches down, and he showed up. Bada bing, bada boom. It's also worth mentioning that cast form could be found here during the sunny weather, but not the sandstorm. Vanillite. You'll need to be in Tapu Village, in the patch of grass to the left of the Poké Center. My first time in the area, there was rain in the overworld, which will help us get a cast form, but no ice cream. There's also a slight chance that it'll be snowing in Tapu Village, in which case you're in luck. The only Pokémon you could obtain at this point, with snow warning, is Vulpix, which is located here. So you have to have an SOS battle with Vulpix until one of them calls for snow. Catch that, and then start the whole process over again. Or, you'll need to use the same strategy that we did for Politoed. You may want to equip the safety goggles as well. With some persistence and potions, you'll have yourself a nice ice cream cone. It's also worth mentioning that Vanillite's evolve form, Vanillish, is obtainable in Mount Lanakila with the same method. You are probably a pro at this by now, so for Gumi, just head over to Route 17 outside of Po Town. That's where it usually rains. Just chain whoever you want until a Gumi shows up. This is also the best place to evolve Gumi once he's evolved into a Sligoo at level 50. Like Vanillite, Gumi's evolve form, Sligoo, can spawn on Executor Island, where it often rains. You'll need to complete part of the story here and then return for natural weather to take effect. 
I'm also going to mention that I'm still doing my giveaway from Mythical Pokemon, all the legendaries of 2016. Leave a like, comment on the video, and be sure to mention what legendary Pokemon you like to receive. Once my channel receives 500,000 views, we're going to be drawing the winners. When I'm uploading this video right now, I currently have 457,000, so we're only a little bit away. Let's go team. So there you go. That's all the Pokemon exclusive to Weather SOS Battles. Did you learn something you didn't know? If so, just drop a like and comment on which one was the biggest pain in the butt for you. Until next time, Austin John out. Hey YouTubers, are you guys enjoying the videos? I'm really, really appreciating the support. Over here I have a couple of additional videos if you guys want to check them out. Maybe be helpful throughout your entire adventure. And I'll see you guys next time.